Hey guys, good morning. Um, I wanted to come on here because I'm feeling super encouraged and I believe that God has a message for you today. Um, this morning at, at church, they, the worship team sang Graves into Gardens and it's just the words just lit up for me, it just came off the page and just felt really alive and I feel like there's a word in it this morning for you um, and for me. Um, I had a Father's Day devotional come in this morning and um, it, what struck me about this particular devotional um, was that it wasn't your your normal, your typical um, Father's Day message. Um, yes, we are to honor our fathers in our lives, honor our fathers and our mothers. Um, and it's a commandment by God in there's no, um, I guess, qualifying, um, there's no qualifying word in there. It says, honor your father and your mother. It doesn't say, um, only honor your father and your mother or honor your father if they did a great job. Um, it just says, honor your father. So um, I wanna do that. I wanna honor fathers today. Happy Father's Day. Um, but the majority of us, I feel like, um, either we don't have that, that experience of um, growing up with a present good earthly father um, who built us up and encouraged us and poured into us and um, a lot of us don't have those those personal testimonies um, the devotional this morning um, and I won't tell all of it it was really good um, it was on life today so I think if you go to life today and look up their devotionals you'd be able to read it yourself but um, there was a testimony of this gentleman st standing in the gap for these young men and out of the eight young men that that he coached um, only two of them still had the fathers living in their homes and only one out of two of those had a good relationship with their father so I feel like the majority of us out there it's hard for us to identify with this joyous celebration on on Father's Day um, and I don't think it was by accident that um, that the Holy Spirit just drew me to these lyrics from um, in this song graves and in, into gardens I believe that there is hope that there's forgiveness that there's grace and that God wants to breathe new life into relationships um, especially the relationship between the father and their child um, so I'm just gonna go through and read all of the lyrics I encourage you to listen to the song and I'll put a link to the song um, in the description below but part of the song says, you turn graves into gardens. With God, nothing is impossible. And I would just wanna encourage everyone out there that if your life um, resembles more of a graveyard than it does a garden, um, that God can turn that graveyard into a garden. Where if you're out there and all you see around you are dead relationships, just relationships, sorry, relationships that have just been dead and buried and gone for a long time. Um, it is never too late. At, it is never too late to reach out, um, to just trust God, to ask for God's help in that area, to breathe new life and to resurrect those dead relationships. Um, and he can, he can grow. Um, gardens take time to grow, so it doesn't go from um, grave to garden overnight. It takes time. Um, it may start by God just... Um, you know, resurrecting the dead, dropping new seeds, and then watching them grow over time with God's help. Um, you turn bones into armies. Um, bones into armies. God can resurrect those bones and bring them into fully functioning, strong, brave, courageous armies of men and women who are standing guard and ready to fight the good fight for the faith and fight the good fight for relationship. Um, you turn seas into highways. A sea looks absolutely impossible just in our own strength, in our own, um, just us standing on the shore, no boat, nothing. Um, if you're standing on the shore and looking at a sea, it looks impassable, it looks impossible. But God can literally turn that into a highway to where you are walking on dry ground through that sea with 
God. And then to the other side, of course. Um, you're the only one who can. You turn graves into gardens. You turn bones into armies. You turn seas into highways. You're the only one who can. He turns mourning to dancing. Things that you have grieved and you are mourning over your life's regrets, the, the, the fights, you know, the games that you didn't show up for, um, the lives, the little lives that you didn't show up for, um, maybe the phone calls you never made, um, the things that you, that you said that you wish you hadn't said, the things that you wish you had said that you didn't say, all of those things, those relationships that you're just mourning over, God can literally change that situation, that relationship dynamic from, from one that you are mourning to one that you are dancing over in delight. I love the scripture that, that says that, um, that God delights over us in dancing. And I forget where it is. It's probably like in the Psalms, but he is dancing over us in delight when we turn to him and we say, God, I need you. I need you to do what only you can do. I need you to turn my mourning into dancing. That's amazing. Um, um, you give beauty for ashes. Um, just picture a pile of ashes. A lot of us can identify with looking at certain areas of our lives or looking at relationships and just seeing a pile of ashes. A life that we have burned to the ground in self-destruction and self-sabotage and a lot of us, that's our reality unfortunately. And God promises that if we would just trust him he will give beauty for our ashes, no longer something that we look at. That we, If you've burned something down, it's unrecognizable. It's a pile of ashes. It's not what it was before. It's not what it was meant to be, but it's a pile of ashes now. It's something that within our human strength, there's no way that you can take a pile of ashes um, and resurrect that or make it into what it was or what it was supposed to become. Only God can do that. Only God can look at a pile of ashes and see beauty and bring beauty out of it. Um, you turn shame into glory. Just think about things that, you know, maybe from your past or from your present even, that you just look at and see and feel shame over. Well, God can, can change that situation over time. He can change it. He can resurrect it. He can heal it. He can restore it into something that when you look at it, it no longer feels shameful. But all you see is God's glory. All you see is, is the life that God has breathed into it. And, and look, if you look at it um, after God's done with it, all you can, you can see is and say to yourself and say to those around you is glory to God, only God, only God. <laughs> um, and I think, yeah, that's, uh, that's it for that song. And um, another song that comes to mind that just welled up in my spirit is Holy Water um, by We the Kingdom. I love, love the lyrics dead man walk slave to sin i want to know about being born again i need you oh god i need you so take me to the riverside take me under baptize i need you oh god i need you um a lot of us know what that feels like but a lot of us out there may not yet we just know that we feel dead that when we look around all we see is just death like after all that we've been through, after all that we've done, all the mistakes that we made, we just feel like we need a whole new life. Dead man walk enslaved to sin. I have no power over this. this. This sin is master over me. It's got power over me and I feel dead inside. I want to know about being born again. I don't want um, to just... I don't want to just heal what's broken. I want to know about being born again. I want a new life. I want a completely new start, a new lease on life. I want to be resurrected. I want to be made clean. I want to be made whole. I want to literally start over and be born again. And only Jesus can do that. 
only Jesus. He has the power to birth us, to rebirth us to where we are feeling new, clean, starting again. It's like being able to see for the first time. Only Jesus can do that, and I can testify to that. Um, and then I feel like there was one more thing. Oh, yes. The scripture that I was talking about last night um, in, in the book of Jude. Um, let's see what chapter this is. Oh, yeah. Jude is only one chapter. Okay. So verse 24. Now, to the one who can keep you from falling and set you without defect and full of joy in the presence of his glory. To God alone, our deliverer, through Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, now, and forever. We can't do this on our own. We need God to do it for us. A lot of us have, have tried to do it in our own strength, in our own way, tried to be strong enough, tried, tried to... to just try to do it over and over again and a lot of us just keep falling we keep stumbling we keep failing we've we are not without God we are not able to be born again we are not able to live a life that is just a living breathing testimony to turning graves into gardens mourning to dancing bones into armies seas into highways all of that is impossible without God but be encouraged because with God all things are possible and to me that's so comforting because it's not about how strong I am it's not about how wise I seemingly wise I am or how smart I am or how creative or it's not about me measuring up as a daughter as a child of just a, a child it's not about me it's about who God is he is a wonderful father he is good he is all-powerful if he only him I think it's in the book of Hebrews um, but I could be wrong but God brought God is the only one who can bring something out of nothing he was the one who looked at absolute nothing. And it's not even conceivable in our human minds. If you think about what does nothing look like, it's not conceivable. Only God can look at nothing and breathe life and, and by his words speak, speak into being something. Only he can create something out of nothing. He didn't need tools. He didn't need... Um, anything he just looked at nothing and said let there be light and there was light so so be encouraged that um just bring god your ashes bring god your broken pieces your your s life that looks like a cemetery that looks like a graveyard bring him the dead relationships bring him your sorrow your mourning your ashes everything bring him those things that are dead and watch him bring something out of nothing it's not out of your own strength or might it's not by force not by might but by his spirit god is able to do that and um so today on father's day whether you're a father out there whether you're um someone out there who just never hasn't shown up yet wants is afraid to reach out to their children um, or a child a prodigal son that thinks that they're too far gone and is afraid to go back to his father's house no matter who you are or what your situation is I encourage you to to bring it whatever it is to God ask for God's help put your trust in him and listen for his instruction and wait for his power his saving power he is mighty to save um, and then ask for his help, and he'll do that for you. All right, I love you all. Um, have a wonderful day, and we'll talk soon. Bye.